Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, I am going to talk about how to make a Comet K fees payment uh, through your credit card, debit card, your online net banking, right? So first is the debit card and the credit card payment, which is the easiest way of payment, but they charge around 0.5% to 1%. So uh, for the fees of 2.81 lakhs, 1% 1 will be like 2,800 rupees. So you will lose lot of money as a convenience fee or the uh, fees for the payment, right? So 2,800 rupees on the highest slab. So it is advisable to make payment through online net banking. So I'll talk about both the modes, whichever is convenient to you, you can use that. And for the online net banking, the charges will be not more than 50 rupees to 100 rupees, right? So that will be quite economical. So let's uh, try to understand how to make payment using debit card or credit card, right? So the first step is basically you, uh, once you get the allotment, you will see the decision tab, right? decision tab on which you will find the decision tab is shown right so you have a application tab document upload tab costing registration tab the choice filling tab right there at that point of time one more tab will be coming which is called decision tab on the decision tab for choice entry definition will also be there like accept and you know freeze that means you are going ahead with the allotted college accept and agree that means you are going paying the fees but you want to go into round two reject and upgrade that means you are rejecting the seat paying the fees but still you want to go for the next round and the reject and withdraw that means you are completely withdrawing from the counseling process after that you will see one blue right which says that click here to view allotment seats so once you click there it will take you to the this step so click on the decision based on your choice four choices i have already explained and which are mentioned in the bottom of the screen you have to select only one of those and it is also showing the tuition fees and the other fees which you need to pay after your seat allotment so total will be charged so once you click on one of the four choices and make payment right so step three will be one will take you to the credit card debit card payment page select the top one if you are want to pay through credit card or debit card then very simple interface it will show your card number ask for card number expiry cvv and the name on the card you just proceed right on that and checkbox if you want to save the credentials then you enter your details and then proceed what you will get is basically OTP on your mobile enter that OTP and submit and after successful payment log out and log in to your application again right so once you log in again right click on the decision tab and click on the print to take print out of the payment details so it is so simple you can just print a print out and take a pdf for your reference so this is how you will pay for the credit card and the debit card based payment mode now let me talk about the other payment if you don't want to use credit card debit card you can also do net banking it is very easy so in the previous page after the decision making you saw there were two items right now select the bottom one which is net banking right in the same page choose a payment option so once you do that so it will clearly show you all the banks which are available right through payment gateway you can select one of them for example you want to select for icici bank etc it will show the convenience fee plus gst on the right you can see it is very small amount 22 rupees or mostly it will be less than 50 rupees right so it will be so low then you have to just press proceed here you don't need to put any account number of the comedy authority or the any other number because once you click there it will take to your bank account now it is your internet banking 
login password so i am having icici bank i will put my icici bank login and i will put my icici bank password then it will take me to my payment page right then it will ask me to uh, you know, basically uh, put my otp so i would have received otp on my mobile so i will put otp here right to pay so it is not asking anywhere to basically add a or you know second party or fsc code of that because that is not required here it is a direct payment it will take to your bank account whichever you choose and once you put the otp automatically it will be you know payment is complete you will get the message again after success full payment you can log out and then once you again log in you will see uh, on the decision making tab right your transaction details will be there you can again print the you know complete uh, form right which is uh, there with respect to the total amount pays transaction number and everything this will be required for your reference purpose and once you are joining the college you may show this right so understand it is very easy payment for all the modes of payments and important uh, information which uh, also comedic authority has provided uh, candidates are not requested to call the comed help desk immediately after making the payment of for confirmation or unsuccessful uh, payment right don't worry about this don't you know, talk the talk with comedic help desk right please wait for one hour before calling calling the comedic help desk for any confirmation check with your respective bank because if it is unsuccessful it will be with the bank not with the comedic authority and fee received an allotment letter will be generated for candidates who have clicked accept and freeze so only for this category right where they have done accept and fees free fee receipt will also be provided allotment letter will be provided because they will take this to the college where they are uh, going to report right so for accept and upgrade and reject and upgrade students payment details will be available in the decision tab and the payment details which i showed but they will not get fee receipt and allotment letter at this point of time only after the second or the third round of time when their seat is finalized at that point of time this pre received an allotment letter will be generated and after that they can go to college and report to the college so it is very simple and in case of any query for payment you can uh, basically send a mail to care.care at the rate ppayu.in and any query related with comedic authority you can put it to student help desk at comedic.org so that's simple so that's all i have to cover in this particular video thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the parts of comedic process take care and bye